A packed ballroom at the Beaches Resort and Spa last evening, where it was a memorable and historic 42nd meeting of the Caribbean Examination Council, CXC, and presentation of awards for outstanding performances in May-June exams. Top performing students from 16 Caribbean countries were in attendance last evening, where they were honored for excellent performance. In his welcoming address, Dr. Didicus Jules, registrar of CXC, said there was significant progress for 2010. It is a profound responsibility, as ultimately the resilience of the Caribbean lies in its people and the memories of pain and resistance that is wired into our historical DNA. 2010 was a hectic year characterized by efforts on many fronts to push the transformation of CXC to the next level. We did not achieve as much as the ambitious agenda anticipated, but we have made significant progress and we have learned some vital lessons from the effort. There are many things that drive the urgency of the transformation that we have embarked on, upon. In the last two and a half years, we have updated and revisited our SWOT and PESTLE analysis on at least three occasions, and on all occasions involving staff and the widest cross-section of stakeholders available to us. Utilizing the internet, we have consulted and received feedback from over 3,000 persons across the region on the new strategic direction of CXC. These analyses have confirmed the strengths that CXC has historically accumulated. They have reminded us of the challenges of globalization, the potential of technology, and the exponential pace of change in today's world. Also addressing the audience was Chairman of CXC, Professor E. Nigel Harris. In a vast array of subjects, CXC has a profound aspect, impact on what our children learn and their performance and the degree to which they will be prepared for their adult lives. Whether they're going to go on to university or they will go on to actually take a job within the public or private sectors of our countries. Uh, people have sometimes argued uh, that CXC uh, may be an elitist exam but in truth, uh, for many generations, and mine being a few generations ago, uh, CXC and a certain number of passes were at least required to get yourself a, a government job. Uh, so it isn't only going into university. That these exams are conducted annually with only minor hiccups is really a tremendous achievement. The feature address at the ceremony was by Dr. Beatrice Fulford, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Education for the Turks and Caicos Islands. It is a heartwarming experience for the Turks and Caicos Islands to finally serve as host to second council meetings after we were this close to hosting it in 2008. And you know, it is so appropriate now, given that this year we have had some of the best overall examination results ever for the Turks and Caicos Islands. I assure you, Professor Nigel, Dr. Jules, Mr. Kumbabetch, and the rest of the hardworking team at CXC that your presence at this time is significant to the education sector and the wider communities of the Turks and Caicos Islands, as in solidarity we must move forward to the next chapters of our lives. Dr. Fulford also had a very important message for the top performing students. As historians in your own right and those who have a flair for politics, you will recall some time down the road that you visited the Turks and Caicos Islands at an interesting time in the political history when the waves of life have given rise to the suspension of elements of the country's constitution. You will recall that at the time of your visit, the country was being administered by an interim government. <coughs> Awardees, some of you are interested in the justice system. And so you will recall that you visited just weeks not months, just weeks after the passage of the trial without jury bill, 
and the ways that this has caused. You are to remember that you visited the Turks and Caicos Islands just days after the capital, Grand Turk, lost to raging waves of fire, one of its primary, two primary schools, which has been a symbol of hope and equality for young people. And then, I want you to remember Beaches Resort and Spa. Not necessarily because you are accommodated here, but because it is a testament to the vision and fortitude of a Caribbean personality. The night was not only for academians. There were performances by the TCI Cultural Group, a combined school choir, and the Clement Howell High School. A press conference was held today, December 3rd, by the CXC representatives. And of course, News 4 will bring you that in a subsequent newscast. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.